I could not have more enthusiasm about reprising my role for Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. Uh, the first movie uh, was obviously fantastic. It's a great origin story and everything that Zack and Jack and Asher and Grace and everybody that was on the first movie did to bring it to life. They really knocked it out of the park and it was just such a fun world. Um, and for the rest of us that played the, you know, the superhero versions, we popped up at the end. We were a bit of a tease of uh, what was to come. So uh, the promise of what this movie was gonna be is uh, the thing we were most excited about to come on board. I mean, the plan always was, even from the beginning, was uh, this was the goal, this movie, getting to make this movie with this cast at this scale was the thing that we were always excited about uh, getting to do. So uh, we're very happy to get to be here now and just blow it up in a major way. For Pedro, I really, I was excited about kind of playing through his arc because there's a there's an aspect to this kid that uh, I could relate to when I was a little bit younger, and I think a lot of kids can, where you're very shy, you're a little bit insecure, you're trying to get comfortable in your own skin, and it's a really hard thing to do. And suddenly, when this when this kid gets all of this power, he becomes a literal god in a lot of ways, and he's he's powerful, he's strong, and but inside, he still feels insecure. And I think there's like an interesting message in that, especially in, in Pedro's arc of, you know, when you get uh, all the responsibility and all the power, uh, how does that affect uh, who you are inside? And does it change you? And sometimes uh, it doesn't, you know, and you gotta find a balance. Louise, our costume designer and her whole team, they, they absolutely knocked it out of the park this time. She's got an incredible eye for detail. And the suits are, from the ground up, they're an, an entirely new redesign. Every ma piece of material, the, the, the aesthetic design, the muscle suits they did, uh, they were much more extensive with the, the way they scanned them and they sculpted them for us this time. Each one's like specifically designed to our bodies. It took a long time, but we couldn't be more happy with the results. Shazam 1 ends with uh, Billy's powers extending to uh, the rest of his family and you know we show we tease at the end of the movie where we all turn into superheroes so when we get to the beginning of Shazam Fury of the Gods we're already well into a world where uh, they've been doing this as a unit for a minute they exist in a world where they are known they are a, a family of superheroes that's seen they get press coverage that's the fun of this of this movie is watching these kids try and juggle the duality of those two existences and trying to learn how to work as a unit and the size of this movie, the scale of it, is so much bigger than the first and fantastical in a way and kind of crazy in a way that uh, it just takes all the fun elements of the first one and blows them out to like a thousand. Zach's the best. He's such a, as a, as an actor on this project playing Shazam and just as a person in life, Zach really likes to make, uh, make sure that the environment that he's in has a good energy. He's always trying to make sure that the energy's right. He brings a giant speaker everywhere. He's always playing music, making sure everybody's having a good time and the vibe is right. And, you know, we're, we're really lucky because we all, we genuinely get along very, very well. And Zach is very much a, uh, a leader of that. He, he sets a great tone, consummate professional, but Primarily, he wants to make sure everybody's having a good time, and I think uh, it really comes across in the movie. And this is truly the most fun I've ever had on any set, honestly. In Fury of the Gods, we have three sisters, played by uh, one Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu, and Rachel Ziegler. Uh, these are some of the most talented, intimidating, beautiful, powerful, confident, actresses I have ever watched or worked with. It's a blessing to get to work with them every day, to learn from them every day, and they're, they're incredible. You know, it's, it's uh, Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu. I mean, I've been watching them, you know, my whole life, and, and to get to work with them and get to meet them, they're just so funny and nice and self-deprecating, but, but so talented at the same time. We have, uh, the Rock of Eternity, which is a, a very well-known set for Shazam. Because we're used to our superhero roles at this place, it's a lot more lived in, and it's become like a, a child's bedroom. So our personalities are all over this place. Like, the, going on that set was so much fun. We had uh, 
We had like arcade games set up. We had video games set up. We had food everywhere. We had, like we didn't go to our trailers for the weeks that we were shooting on that set. We just stayed on set because, I mean, it was like, it's like the ultimate trailer. It's like what, it's like what we would want to live in as kids. We had everything we needed. We had, we were watching sports. We were playing video games. We, we just stayed on that set. So it was kind of like a dream come true. And that's what's fun. If you're a fan of Shazam 1, if you're a fan of the comics, if you're just a fan of uh, the first film, it gives you everything you loved about the first one, but like blown out times a million. This movie explodes into fantastical degrees and ways that, that stuff starts coming at you that you're not gonna expect, but you're gonna have a blast. There's there's more action, there's, there's crazy elements of magic, there's magic unicorns, there's dragons, there's Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu and chasing after us. You get all the fun of the Shazamily and all of their powers exploded out. Um, it's just more of everything you love and way more of what you're not expecting.